introduce him he's going to introduce himself mazi this is rapture media under the leadership of mazi namdekano you already know who what we are doing here i am the bia franchise watching mazi we greet you why are you here today mazi um i am mazi and i am here because there are two shackles we have you know on our legs and our hands everywhere we are in bondage, and that bondage must be broken. And we are here to break that very bondage. It's a process, but we shall overcome that very, very, you know, heavy load. It's a heavy load. It's cumbersome, but we are going to dismantle this. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, what do you think? Uh, I mean, today we are here for what? Uh, is it for? Uh, I mean, uh, like, um, how can I put it? Well, we are here. Uh, first and foremost, yes, uh, to remind them. The very, uh, very pillar behind the zoo, okay, uh, which happens to be European Union and the most especially UK, um, who, uh, or like, let me say, a land that is actually um, related to where we have come to, okay. And we want to remind all of them: we have our people UK. They've gone to. Uh, to the government house, they've gone to the parliament places, and they have reported. And all their friends have decided that it's also time for this very parliament to understand that our leader is still in the hands of the enemy. And which parliament and that, we are? And that he must be released. That's the first and foremost. And also, because 
Of course, we know today we they are in our land, maybe in killing, but we are promising them by the time we know with these people, they will find their roads, their loans, their properties, and leave our land. Great people of Biafra, ask me to make the Biafra child watch like the mouth of his mouth. No, 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 I'm here. I'm here. is a demand that you people are waiting for. They can always get it. Mark, why are we in zero? Is, there, is it sure? Is it right? Zero star. That is right. People are good. People. Ah, okay, okay. Great people. We are here. Right. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my brother. We talk later. How are you, my sister? How are you, my sister? How are you, my sister? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, this is. Uh, I hope you people know who we have here. This is uh, our Mazi. I'm not going to introduce him. He's going to introduce himself. Mazi, this is Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazi Namdekano. You already know who, what we are doing here. I am the Bia franchise Mazi, we greet you. Why are you here today, Mazi? Um, I am a and I am here because there is this shackles we have, you know, on our legs and our hands everywhere. We are in bondage, and that bondage must be broken. And we are here to break that very bondage. It's a process that we shall overcome that very, very, you know, heavy load. It's a heavy load, it's cumbersome, but we are going to dismantle this. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, what do you think? Uh, I mean, today we are here for what? Uh, is it for, uh, I mean, uh, like, um, how can I put it? Well, we are here, uh, first and foremost, yes. uh, to remind the, the very, uh, very pillar behind the zoo, okay, uh, which happens to be European Union and the most especially UK, um, who, uh, or like, let me say, a land that is actually um, related to where we have come to. Okay. And we want to remind all of them, we have our people UK, they've gone to, uh, to the government house, they've gone to the parliament places, and they have reported. And all their friends have decided that it's also time for this very parliament to understand that our leader is still in the hands of the enemy. And which parliament and that, we are? And that he must be released. That's the first and foremost. And also, come and remind them that this very freedom, we cannot trade with it. And that what, what, no matter what they do, that we cannot retreat and we cannot surrender. Now, this very freedom we're looking for is real. And that we're going for it no matter what happens. That is the main message. And for the first time, we have Amazonia, Good. we have Obudua, yes. who have come to join us today. And hopefully by the next of Abiyam, next time, we're going to have them in great numbers since they have tested the water. This is it. And uh, Mazi, uh, some people have to understand which country we are because uh, as you were saying, you couldn't mention the country we well, have to understand well, because our well, audience want to understand. Well, thank you. European Parliament is situated in uh, Belgium, in, in Brussels. We are precisely in Brussels 
who are facing the parliament and uh, today we are also going to meet them all right we have a meeting appointment with them okay we need to we are not only shouting here yeah we are going to sit down with them in parliament um face to face the leadership is going to sit down with them and have a very very you know serious discussion thank you Martin. so what we are doing here now is a preamble that is what you mean we are doing this because ordinary europeans must also have a witness of what's going on of course it's not enough to send a message to the leadership of europe yeah but their citizens as well okay that is the reason why we are doing what we're doing in the open it has an effect people are asking who are these people and they have been told these are biafras they have been told once again they were here some time ago and this war they have come again there is something holding these people and they are beginning to ask us questions is that thing holding you still holding you and we are saying yes and this is a very important thing we are doing we are making sure that other Europeans of the of Europe understand that our freedom is real and that we are going for it and uh, what do you have to tell us about our leader Mazen Namdioku Kano who is today in DSS dungeon what do you have to tell the on this our leader is uh, Daniel in the lion there. You're right. Our leader is untouchable because Uko Kabiyama sent him to talk. Authentic. And he came not for himself, he came for the masses of Sure, Yama. sure, sure, sure. And that is why he is not suffering for the first time, yeah. the second time, third time, and keep on counting. And that is why he's free, and that's why nobody can touch him because how much he did. What Uko Kabiyama? He's a child of God, God Almighty. Sure. And if he's a child of God Almighty, he is spiritual and his Hannah and nobody born a woman can destroy him they have tried it we know they have tried it they have tried it where Biafra did not see what was going on and they did not succeed how much more when Biafra are aware of what is going on so what we are asking Biafra to uh, uphold this openness they should not lose hope they must know that at the end of the day we shall overcome thank you Mazi uh, we are still on IPOB rapture media under the leadership of Mazi Namdekano Mazi we still want to ask you more questions and uh, how many days do you think that this protest is going to last because uh, we are here today we don't know it's going to proceed or after today it's going to be end I don't no, no, know no, nobody should go home nobody should go home okay because uh, freedom is a struggle like you said it has never been comfortable if it were to be comfortable it will never be given the nomenclature um, struggle so a struggle means doing something that's not comfortable and that is why we will not be you know desert the place today because we have tomorrow still okay tomorrow program. all right and people must make sure that uh, they try their best uh, to secure places in hotels and find places to hang on and hang around and they also appear again tomorrow because it shows persistence okay Mazi, we right. still have only one question for you for our audience you are watching live on IPOB Rapture Media uh, Mazi Tonins Rumike the deputy to Mazi Chike Doziemu Mazi our last question is this um, what do you have to tell our audience and the people of Biafra in general and Odudua and Amazonia in general what do you have to tell them uh, back home uh, we continue to say there are no greater people than those of them back home there are no greater people than those of them taking the heat there are no greater people than those of them taking all the you know manhandling all the attacks all the mayhem of the day and that is why we continue to help them and say kudos to all of you in Biafra land, all of you from, uh, you know, from Cross River, all of you from, uh, you know, Epic, you are a job person, you are Urobo, you are um, Epic, you are Biafra, you are a Igbo, Igbo speaking person, or you are from Idoma, or maybe Ishakiri. All of us, all of us are connected in one DNA. If anybody tells you anything, you know, other than that, is lying and bamboozling you. You must understand that we are one people. If you don't mind, check your DNA and check the DNA of another clan in the Afro land and you find out that at the end of the day, we are just one people binded by one very DNA molecule. And that is why we must go ahead together. There are some people who come out and talk on behalf of clan. But anybody that speaks, you know, or stands, you know, anti-modu about what we are doing 
he has just one vote. If you come from a gala and say, oh, what we're doing is not fine to you, but it's just one vote. At the end of the day, the majority will carry the vote, you know, heading into Biafra. And Biafra for us is the freedom for everyone in Biafra land. It doesn't matter where you find yourself, from Opopo to um, Edoma, all of us are one people. And also, of course, to Amazonians, we know that they are also fighting hard and because they are going through the same thing. They should remain tenacious. They are also going to be free. But do what you must be free. Yes, sir. Because we saw what they did to you. We saw the attacks in your churches. We saw what how they are butchering your people in the bushes. We, we saw how they, you know, also um, attacked the women. Those of them who are coming. They were raped. We saw it. It's happening in Biafra land as well. So we are all in one boat together. Oduduwa must support Biafra. Biafra will support Oduduwa. And together we shall overcome. And Mazi, we have uh, from comment section some people ask a question. That will be the last question. They say that what can make you to change your mind about Biafra restoration? <laughs> uh, I don't know what can make somebody to change his mind for freedom. Uh, it, it's, it's a question, I respect that question. Uh, but of course, I wouldn't even imagine such a question coming from any, any angle. Thank you, Mazi. But it's a fair question. For sure. And the answer is that it's nothing. Thank you, Mazi. We believe you. Nothing. We believe you. In heaven, nothing under the earth, nothing under the sea, nothing above the earth can make me to change. This is it. My mind for freedom. Thank you, Mazi. Freedom is what everybody yells for. Without freedom, you're not a human being. That's right. Thank you very much. Thank you. All hail Biafra. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, we are moving forward. We are moving forward. Yeah. We are moving forward. Uh, we have to, to interview some people to tell our people that uh, we are here today. We are here today in Belgium, in the European Parliament. You see how many our people is. We have our people here. We are from people, all the two people. Thank you. Thank you. And now, as you are looking on the ground, you can see the blood on Nigeria. And uh, Marzi, Marzi, come over here. Marzi, you see the blood, the blood on Nigerian blood. Nigeria have raised in peace. Nigeria have raised in peace. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> people, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. You see this guy? Eh? Man, two, 
You can see that this guy not let Samuel pack up. Yeah, you know. I for I for I for I for. Now me go I break his leg. Great people of Biafra, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, are great people all over the world. We, we are on IBOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Martin Nambi Okukano. You already know who we have here. I'm not going to introduce himself. He's going to introduce himself by himself. Marzi, what is your name? Because people want to know why you're here today. My name is Marzi Okinawa, who popularly known as Metisela. One name is And we are here in Brussels today. So, Marzi, uh, you are here today in Brussels to do what? To do what? Uh, we are here to do what we know how to do best by reminding the universe that the Biafra restoration cannot be stopped by any man. Okay. We are here again also to show from the presentation with our body heroes at the same time to remind the world that we are about to go. Just the last one we are coming here to remind the universe. This is one million match, like you said. You can see Ambazonias, you can see the Oduluwa brothers. But without wasting much of our time, we are proud in their numbers as we usually know how we are determined. Yes. And thank you, Mazi uh, Metusela, Mazi Obina, that is his real name. And Mazi, and I want to ask you another question. What do you have to talk about this freedom that we are today? What can make you to change your mind? You know, we have to ask you everything because uh, we have already saw some infiltrators. They have gotten some small things and they have already moved on. So what can make you to change your mind on this Biafran restoration project? Uh, we talk about the brother. I know it's easier to share than to, you know, to fight you. Uh, I just want to help all of you to keep eye on me. It's the only death that can depart me from supporting this noble cause that um, is all about the humanity. And many of us, all of us, came from a different place. Nobody paid us. We came from, from, from Canada, from the United States of America, yeah. from the European parts of the world. We came here with our own money. And we, now, we are not even uh, being apologetic about it. We are here to restore the Africa. Like I said, only the dead can depart me from people supporting my brothers, our gentle sister that are in captivity in the Zoological Republic of America. And again, Mazi Metu, we want to ask you again, what do you have, what advice do you have for our brothers and sisters, those that are using hair to carry the gun? Because, of course, we are in a safer place, you know that. Because uh, if you find yourself in that contraption today, you can't be looking sweet at the way you are now. So what advice do you have for our people living in Biafra land and also find themselves in that contraption in general? Yes, um, I have to, I have to give, to, uh, give them a very, very bad. They are the ones that will appreciate more than we all of us that are here. Like you said, here is a very positive environment. No one is just not like we are with our flags. But I know if it's in Biafra land, either you see a lot of people and dead bodies because they are, you know, so I want to watch them. That's no road. That is success. That has no obstacle. And um, the price of freedom, all of us know. Our leader is paying the price. We are using it as it stands now. And nothing will change his mind. Let alone we. That is a very important advantage. I want to advise our friends that we are I know it's not easy. I know it's not easy. But I just want to tell you that the best thing that can happen to a man is a life without prisoning. So, as many of you that are at home, I don't know how to start. But I know. Only to go to them, I will all know. The death that many of you are passing through because of this. We are here to do our own part. And as you all know, you of you people that are told to do your own part, no matter what it takes, never you relent. The fear of freedom, the fear that Nigerian government are afraid of us today is because of them, you know, that they have since the 1960, 1960 days. We have never relented. Our popular started it and we must complete it. So if we don't waste more time, I want to tell you that continue, never relent. And again, we have a last question for you, some question from comment section. 
They ask me that I should ask you who is Martin Namdekano to you? Right. Martin Namdekano, like many of you, you know, many, I told I know it will be something somehow. Yeah. Like this is the reality. Good. And I'm an antichrist. Yeah, so. So uh, I see Martin Namdekano as the God that I see. Thank you, my brother. Because the man that was fighting for my freedom yeah. and then um, suffering because of us. Then what else will you have to do? He's trying his best and um, I see him as the God that I see. Thank you, Martin. Thank you. As we proceed, we will stay back to you. And uh, you know that we have two days on this protest. We are still on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazen Namikano. Thank you, great people. Thank you. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. Oh, hey, Biafra. I have, you know, we, we, still, we still have time. I have to make more interviews and then we come back. Um, almost hey, Biafra. We are here to. IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Martin Namdekanu. We are having some announcements. Uh, we move to the announcement. Yeah, yeah, let me, I, I just have this one, so come over here, Marcy. Um, good afternoon, brother. Um, I don't want to introduce you or would like you to introduce yourself, but I want you to know that we are on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Martin Lambicano. We want to ask you your name and the reason why you are here today. Thank you very much, uh, brother. And uh, uh, I will begin by telling you that I'm, I'm Paul Obadi Amoa. I'm the Secretary General of the Amazonia Governing Council. And I'm here today, not for the first time, this has been a popular spot for me for the last 15 years that I've come here to protest and to call on uh, Europe and the international community to know that we have a problem in Amazonia, that we have a problem in Africa. And I'm here today because I've sent my brothers from Ododuwa and I've sent my brothers from Biafra who have stood up and have said the time for Africa is now and the time for us to take our destiny into our own hands is now. Why we are here for us to tell people that we have a collective destiny. The Oduduwas, the Biafrans and the Amazonians they have a collective destiny and that collective destiny is not just heading to a certain direction it is a heading to a place which will be different from what they have known in the past africa is rising and as you see Oduduwas, the biafrans and the ambazonians united here today it is a signal for the world to understand that we will not stop anything except we get our freedom in our terms and again my, my brother i i want to ask you again that uh, can you tell us what is happening today in amazonia land uh is the people of amazonia winning the war or are they still preparing to 
I mean to counter their enemies, or are they getting their enemy one after the other? Ambazonia has won the war already between Ambazonia and Cameroon. Cameroon has been defeated, and we are only asking the international community to do their job to help the transition from occupation to full fledged independence for Ambazonia. We have been battling Cameroon from every block to every block since 2016 and we have made a lot of progress and we are at the point where we have to move on the transition and no, 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 no. as well as a free nation and we encourage our different brothers and the Uruguayans not to relent their efforts. This struggle for freedom, this struggle that we started will not be won with speeches only. It will not be won with demonstrations. It will be won by each and every one of us fighting block by block, neighborhood by neighborhood, rooftop from rooftop, to be able to gain our independence, to be different from the independence that Africans started gaining in the 60s. We must understand that this generation of Africans that you find here, that are gathered here today is a different generation. This is a generation that will turn things around for Africa, that will make Africa stand tall in the company of other nations around the world. And I encourage the Oduduwas and the Biafans to understand that each and every one of us here is present. Understand that those who have left that moment, those who are struggling, those who are under the occupation of the zoo and the jungle are looking on us to be able to bring that freedom to them. We must do our bit and we must be able to understand that we will have to fight to get that independence. It will not be handed to us neither by the zoo. So, so you are saying that we have to take the freedom by force? We have to take it by force. Thank you. And with the use of arms, let us let us not let us let us not take it for granted this freedom that we have been fighting for for decades Yaka has known something Ambazonia has known something the Oduduwas have known something and I beg you if we continue we will get more suffering. Thank you Mazi we are back again to you we are back again. Amba Oye, Amba Oye, Oye, Amba Oye, Aye, they Great people, great people, great people. Yeah. We are still on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazen. Can we see? Can we see? All together, all together, all together. The Abazonia people are here. We have. We are on one million miles in Brussels, Belgium.
And again, we are going to have an interview with you, Mazin. Listen, listen, uh, tomorrow at the same time, all of us have been, will be here at 12 o'clock. We know there are some people on the way still coming. Come in the numbers, the two the ones, the Japan and the Amazonians. Tomorrow is another appointment. Listen, we know our security people in prison very well. They are giving up the trust and we are stopping now. We are stopping now. And as we are going, as we are going with this, go in small groups. We don't move out in one big group. I have assured the commissioner, I just spoke to him, I have assured him that we are peace-loving people. That tomorrow we don't come here and they try to do tighten things for us. So we don't have any time anymore. We are going home. Let's pray and we leave. Please go get some rest. And tomorrow is another day. Come on, come on. Help you, Obi. 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 Help Let's go watch it. No, I don't want to check it. Let's see to say the closing prayer. Thank you. All hail Jaffa. All hail Jaffa. I believe in the world of our leader. Marvel, fortunate, whatever, whatever. I didn't make a lot of money to change my head to close the world. All hail Jaffa. All hail Jaffa. I believe in the world. Please, 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 I need some people. Come, come, come. We need to open the door from your back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring it, bring it, bring it. Please, uh, it's okay here. Uh, please, I need some people to open the flag, please. Some people to open the flag. Open it, open it, open it, open it. The pro media under the leader. Well, we have an interview with uh, um, uh, Kapu Daniel. That was, uh, I think, last two weeks. Yeah. Hello, great people. Freedom fight is lovers of freedom. We are still on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazen Namdekano. We have here one of the Abazonia representatives. We are going to ask him his name and why he's here today. Mazi, good afternoon from here. What is your name and why we are here today? Oh, thank you, Mazi. I'm the uh, of Malari Emma. I'm the Secretary of State for Foreign Affairs of the Amazonian Government Council. We are here today to honor our partnership uh, between the Amazonians and the Biafras and the Oduru ones. Uh, to come together to draw the international attention on what is happening in our respective homeland. Uh, the Odudu ones have been massacred, Amazonians have been killed and genocide is happening in all these countries, including all of the Biafra. So we are here to draw the international attention, uh, international community attention that it is not only in it is not only in uh, Ukraine but also in Amazonia and in uh, Biafra and in the and uh, again, uh, we want to ask you what is happening today in Abazonia land? What is happening there today? Can you tell us the situation in Abazonia today? And uh, I hope the Abazonia they are winning the war because uh, we know that uh, freedom is something that we are going to take by force. And I hope Abazonia are ready to take their freedom by force. Or what do you think? Are they going to wait? To, for their freedom to come in platter or gold, or are they going to take it by force? That is what we want to hear from you, Mas. Well, thank you for that question. What is happening is that there is an ongoing depression war in Amazon.
women. We started with them guns, then we went to funny uh, rifles. So we have automatic rifles. We have an AK-47. We have uh, a lot of We have uh, the, 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 the Arupages. We have high EDs. And that's exactly how we are going to gain our independence. Because when we came here before, the international community didn't listen. Now the time has come. We are picking up arms and we are going to fight. We are going to fight and we are going to defend the battle. So, I call on other nations, the Udu, the Biafra, pick up arms and chase these people out of the land. Nobody is going to give you their independence like that. Now the Kano is dying in mercy, now the Kano is dying in jail because of you guys. Of course, you are right. And if you guys don't pick up arms, the zoo in Nigeria is not going to set the people free. So you go grab it, take it, and run with it. It belongs to you and not to them. And again, uh, this protest that we have today in the uh, European Parliament, is it going to end today or we are going to proceed for another day? Because day two, we're... tomorrow is day two. Okay. Tomorrow is day two and uh, tomorrow is the day that the uh, memorandum will be happening for the European Parliament. And so we call on everyone to go home quietly and we meet back here tomorrow in Aloma. I hope there are people who are still on the way coming to see them. Tomorrow is the big day, that is what he said. And Marzi, once again, we have uh, this again for you. What can make you to stop Abazonian freedom? What can make you? What can make you to stop this fighting for your freedom? What do you think? Until the last blood is dropped. Ambassador will be free. Without wow. We are not going to pass this struggle to, to the next generation. To another generation. Wow. No way. We are a no nonsense generation and we have to get the job on our own. We believe I'm a son. And uh, once again, please, that, that is the last question. What uh, for two minutes, what do you have for Abazonia people in, in land of Abazonia? What advice do you have to give to them? I mean, encouragement. Finance the liberation. Finance the liberation. It is not a work in the park. It is liberation war and not cheap. Okay. Expensive. Buy the guns, buy the bombs, and kill the enemy. Take them out of our land. Thank you. Thank you. you don't desire so no two ways. Thank you. If, 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 if this cannot be gotten through peace, it can be gotten through war. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, brother, do you want to talk to us? Do you want to talk to us? Just uh, to finalize what uh, our brother said, of course, you are from Amazonia. What do you, what advice do you have for the Amazonian people? What do you have to tell them? What encouragement do you have to tell them to continue on this quest of self-determination? Because we have found out that uh, um, freedom is something that you are not going to be taken free. You must take it by force. So what do you have to tell them, the people of Amazonia? We are on the path to freedom. We have been fighting for over five years. We just, my Ambazonian people, we just need to continue fighting. As the leader of the Ambazonian Revolution said, Dr. Cho Ayaba Lucas, we are the primary investors on, uh, of our own revolution. We, can, we do not expect people from far away to come and uh, give us the necessary assistance to facilitate our war of liberation. So we need to fight, we need to fight in order to be put to the next generation an Ambazonia which will be a, a worthwhile uh, Ambazonia, not Ambazonia controlled by Ocogenarian. So my people of Ambazonia, as you listen to the, to the sound of my voice, keep on fighting, don't resist, enablers, no enablers, fight everybody you know it's an enabler fight to the last block. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, brother. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Okay. Uh, 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 uh,
people of Biafra will have a new information that people have to be here 9 o'clock tomorrow. Till 2 o'clock. 9 o'clock till 2. 9 o'clock till 2. No more. Uh, 11 a.m. Tomorrow is 9 a.m. till 2 o'clock. No, not 12 to 2, 9 to 2. 9 to 2. Thank you very much. Thank you. Plus the Luxembourg. Plus our place of Luxembourg. Our place of Luxembourg in English. Plus the Luxembourg 1000 or place to Luxembourg 1000. Yes. Thank you. I want to get this old do one man. Where is this old do one? Where is the I saw them there? As you can see, today, today is over. Today is over. We are also coming again tomorrow. We are coming again tomorrow from 9 o'clock to 2 o'clock here in Brussels on the quest of self-determination. We are not going to stop. Auntie, I just want to buy you sorrow. Um, she wants to learn it. I bet you want. She let me shift like that onto your lawn. Who wanna speak to us? Who wanna speak to us? Who wanna speak to us? All right, all right, all right. Uh, we are now on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Martin Namdekano. Uh, yes, today uh, we are in Belgium, Brussels for one million march. You can see it today. Uh, the great people of Oduduo, they are here live and direct in Brussels. And we want to interview one of them to ask them their names and the reason why they are here. Uh, Alaba, good afternoon. Uh, we want to know your name and the reason why you are here, Mazi. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is uh, uh, Jami. Uh, we are here to have a solidarity, uh, a kind of, a kind of a solidarity with uh, the people of the Afro, uh, the people of the Brazilian, and of course the people of the Republic, uh, the Uzzas, uh, from the, the one million class. Uh, this is a tour of the world, to show the world that uh, the, the major ethnic nationalities, the major ethnic nations in southern Nigeria, we are ready to get our freedom from the Uganda contraption. We believe that all men are born free. We believe that all men are born equal. We believe that self-determination is our fundamental human right. We believe that self-determination is our destiny. We believe that the jury is all the destiny of the great people, the great people. We believe that South and Cameroon is all the destiny of the great people. Now it is time for the peace. So we believe, we believe that we can show the whole world, especially on the streets of the Junior in Brussels, we are letting the whole world know that we exist, and we believe that uh, uh, my dream of the is a uh, person of conscience, is now uh, is uh, the persecuted for fighting for his freedom, and we will continue to fight for what we believe in, we will continue to protest, we will continue to do rallies, we will continue to march, we will continue to fight, we will continue to fight, we will continue to organize, we will continue to come together so that our people will continue to be free. And again, another question that I want to ask you, uh, what do you want to tell the Yoruba Oduduas in the land of Yoruba? I mean, the encouragement that you want to give to them. I mean, because we already know that uh, freedom is something that you are not going to be taking on platter of gold. It's something that you must take by, by force. So what do you have to tell the people of Odudua in the land of Odudua? 
Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 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 Thank you, thank